what's up guys we're at the chain lift i'm adam he's mark mm -hmm. we're doing another coaster spotlight video this one's about thunderbird <laughs> located <laughs> at holiday world in santa claus indiana right there yep it's a b m wing coaster yep uh we're gonna give you the stats of the ride the history of the ride and at the end of the video we will score the ride on a scale of one to ten coaster boys here he is flying into the screen yep you'll see that little man later so we will get into it now and we will tell you a little bit more about thunderbird that's right that's my job mm -hmm. um it opened in 2015 it is obviously a launched b m wing yep there are four of these four of these uh these, uh, these ladies wing, in America. Wing coasters, yep. Mm -hmm. You got, the first one was Wild Eagle at Dollywood. Mm -hmm. Then you got X Flight at Great America. Six Flags, Great America. Yep. Uh, then you got the Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. Yep. And then you got Thunderbird at Holiday World. Yep. There's, a, there's some other ones over in Europe. We've been on all four of those. Been all four of them. Yep. And I'm going to tell you which one's the best one after this mm -hmm. is all done. Yes, we will. Uh, it is, it, it's the first launched wing coaster. First and only. First and only, yeah. Launch wing coaster in That's the right. world. Uh, and it's the first time B&M has ever used an a, uh, LSM launch. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it's a height of 140 yeah. feet, and that's obviously the uh, Immelman. Mm -hmm. And you can launch into that Immelman. Yep. Then you got a length of 3,035 feet. Not, not too bad. Mm -hmm. 60 miles per hour top speed. That's obviously shooting out of that barn, and you shoot. 60 miles per hour launch, 60, yeah, yeah. in 3.5 seconds. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, you got four inversions. You got the uh, you got the main Immelman in there. You got the a zero G roll. You got an inline twist. And you got the loop. And you got the vert loop, which yeah. is your second mm -hmm. inversion. Yep. After the Immelman, you kind of go down right into that sucker. Vertical loop. Yeah. And then uh, the duration of a minute and 18 seconds. I know it seems short. Yeah. But, like, it doesn't feel real short. No, that, I was surprised how short that is. Honestly, I mean, a lot of rides you know that are over two minutes is because 30 seconds of it is going up the lift hill yeah so this one you don't have that extra time you just shoot right out of the barn out. so it's like a minute and 18 seconds of awesome it is yeah. and then uh, one and also one thing that was apparent when we went was uh it only had five 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 cars oh yeah the trains you, are shorter yeah, yeah. And i looked into it wild eagle has seven mm -hmm. seven cars and X Flight and Gatekeeper have eight cars. Eight cars, yeah. So when you saw the five cars, it's it's it's, it's noticeable. It is, if, especially if you see the other ones. Yeah, but it works out well. Uh huh. And I guess we can get right into this guy. Mm -hmm. Um, I love it. I love Thunderbird. I love Thunderbird. It was, uh, it was my favorite coaster at Holiday World. Mine too. Uh huh. Sorry for all the the Voyage, the Voyage fans. fans. Uh huh. Thunderbird is my favorite. It it really. Uh, I like all the other wing coasts. I like them. I like them mm -hmm. all. I do too. But I'm like, a big I, fan. Yeah, but like it's like I'm never expecting to like. I always know I'm gonna like. I'm never expecting to like be blown away by mm -hmm. them. They kind of are what they are. No. I was I was on the border of kind of blown away by it. I was too. Um, I love the the uh, the area they built for it. Oh, that whole area. It's part of the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. area of Holiday World, but uh, where they built uh, Thunderbird, there's like a little plaza there. Free pop over there. Free soda. So when you're thirsty. What I do is I go get a Mountain Dew. Uh -huh. I write Thunderbird and I Mountain Dew it up again. That's right. <laughs> Pepsi product, <laughs> right? Product placement. Product yeah. placement. Mountain Dew. I know you're ever gonna watch this, but it's like an uh, awesome sandwich. Mountain Dew Thunderbird. Mountain Dew. Yeah, Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we off track. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. What you're saying? I like to mix up my drinks there. You see, suicide. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Suicide? No, not mix them together. You just oh. every time you go back to the vending machine, you get a different... They have that, that red stuff? What's it called? The, oh, red, the pop? red pop. Just red pop. That's good. red pop. It's like, but anyways... So, it's got the rails. Yeah. So, But that area is really nice. The station for Thunderbird's really cool. It looks like an old barn. It's one of my favorite stations for a it's, coaster I've it's seen. It's great. And before you launch, like you, you kind of go out of the main area. There's like a pre-launch area. And then there's like mist. And there's like, I think it's like uh, thunder noises. Yeah, uh-huh. And then it launches you out. Like, Right an element, and it's great for like as you see, we got lots of video going. Mm -hmm. it's, it's super picturesque. It is. Oh, there's so many good vantage points. Well, at least the element in the vertical loop. The rest yeah. of it's kind of yeah. The rest, like the inline twist in the back through the the shed area. You it, actually it, can't even see the shed from, not from at the all. Mid, not from the no. Midway, no. It's kind of hidden back there. Mm -hmm. um, but 
I really liked it a lot. I was surprised how intense it was. Very uh, intense. And I think the layout's really cool. I love the inline twist through the shed. Like it's you kind of helix through it, I think, and then you inline twist into it. Yep. Uh, it's really cool. Um, I really love the colors, the orange and the mm-hmm. brown. I think it's really cool and unique. It's great. Uh, yeah, and I think like the pacing of all the inversions, it has four inversions in a small, you know, only barely over 3,000 feet, but I feel like they're paced well. Very paced very well, yes. And um, yeah, and, and it maintains its speed like from start to finish. It does. It's I And the reason why I like it more than, you know, I, I would say Gatekeeper is my second favorite wing coaster. Uh, I like this one a little bit more just because it's a little bit more intense. And uh, mm-hmm. like the other wing coasters, they're, I wouldn't really call them intense. They're just kind mm-hmm. of big and you kind of like, feels like you're slowly going through all the motions just because they're big, kind this of one, big inversions and everything. That's my sentiments. It, yeah. This one feels intense because mm-hmm. it is intense. Yeah. The other ones, I like them all, like I said, but yeah, they're not, they're kind of like, I'd almost call them like soothing coasters in a way. They just, they feel yeah. like you're going very, very smooth and slow. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You still, you know can get going but mm-hmm. you know the, the launch that's a nice tone for because it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's never it never relents mm-hmm. but it's never too much yeah i agree um and it, my favorite part of it is actually not any of the inversions it's no. not like the launch of course is up mm-hmm. there there's a part after the third i think the third version is the zero g roll if i recall yeah and right before you get to the barn you do this like twist and it, like it's like it just like shoot you down into the oh, barn yeah. you're right that part is cool it, it, like you that get, is one of the best elements if actually. you're in the back man it really pushes you down uh-huh. i love that part that is cool yeah it's my favorite part besides the launch there's there's so many good, nice surprises on this mm-hmm. yeah but i i wish they would build more wing coasters because i'm actually a big fan of the wing coaster i think there will be more they mm-hmm. always seem to be big hits yeah um, right now, it seems like the popular thing with B&M is the dive coaster. You're going everywhere. Uh-huh, so... Uh, we just did a Yukon Striker video, so go look for that. Yeah, check Where's that the Yukon Strike? Yukon Striker. Striker, yes. It is Yukon Striker. Great name. And, um, yeah, I love Thunderbird. I'm me ready too. to give it my score. Okay, Thunderbird at Holiday World. Okay, on a scale of 110, I would give it an 8.5. It's a good score. 8.5. That's a solid score. Uh, just ahead of Gatekeeper, which I've given eight out of ten, which I just spoiled uh, the future video that we do of Gatekeeper Coaster Spotlight. <laughs> Way to go! Eight and a half out of ten. It's a good score. Uh huh. I am gonna give eight and a half. We're not Coaster Boys. Eight and a half free Pepsi drinks. Ah. Uh. Because you get eight and a half Pepsi drinks uh. at it's nice Holiday plug. World. Yeah. They got free sody. That's so one of the best parts about Holiday give, World. I'm giving an eight and a half, but if I could like go in quarters, I'd give this like an eight point seven five. Oh yeah, but we eight and a half, mm-hmm. half But mm-hmm. it's a borderline nine to me. I, I was, I was, I knew it would be fun, mm-hmm. I for sure. But it, 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 like I said, it almost borderline like surprised me, like how good it was. Yeah, you know, and that's hard to do at, at this stage. We've been on so many mm-hmm. coasters. Oh yeah. Especially, you know, been on three wing coasters. I know they spent a lot of money on this whole project. It was, mm-hmm. what, like the $26 million, I think? I'm trying it from memory. We don't always fact check. But I think it was around $26 million. And I know it was a lot for a smaller park. But mm-hmm. I think they got their money's worth here. I really do. Um, the area is beautiful over there. The mm-hmm. coaster is amazing. Mm-hmm. They got the best wing coaster in America. There's no doubt about it. I agree. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Easily. Yeah. Don't at me. <laughs> Is that what they say on Twitter? If they don't want to, they don't want to hear the noise. Yeah, uh-huh. Thunderbird is the best wing coaster. Don't it add is. me. Yeah. All right. I agree. Eight and a half. Eight and a half sodies on each side. Well, mm-hmm. this is mine. I gave it coaster boys. You well, I got sodies. sodies. <laughs> All right. Well, that is Thunderbird at Holiday World mm-hmm. in Santa Claus, Indiana. Yeah. Nice park. Love Santa Claus, Indiana, and yeah. Holiday World. Yep. And Great water park too. Splash. Best and water park. Best water park I've ever been to. Yeah. Splash and Safari, mm-hmm. and we're gonna do. A water coaster spotlight on Wildebeest sometime soon. So stay tuned for that. Yes. If you've been on Thunderbird, let us know what you think about it. Mm-hmm. You can give us your score for it below. Make sure you hey. subscribe. Give us your top four wing coasters. You've been on all four of them. Or if you've been on top three or two, whatever you have. Whatever you've been on, give us your rankings of the wing yeah. coasters. I don't know. And if you're from Europe, tell us what you think over there. Too. Uh-huh. That's fine, too. Because there's some good ones over there, yeah. it looks like. Wing coaster. Uh, if you can follow us on Twitter at the TheChainLift. We're also on Instagram at the chain lift. Yep. And that's it. Please leave and likes and subscribes, all that fun yeah, stuff. And all comments. right. Bye, everybody. Thunderbird.